Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie from Burton Avenue and I want to show you how to make amazing things with your Cricut. Welcome back to my 25 Days of Craftmas series where I show you how to make 25 different Christmas projects using your Cricut. And I also share the SVG files I use to make the projects for free so you can make them too. It's day 17 and today I'm showing you how to make this burned cork trivet. This project is made using a wood burning tool. I love using the wood burning tool because it creates such unique projects. So let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you'll need a cork trivet and I found mine at Ikea. You'll also need a wood burning tool, vinyl for your stencil, a weeding tool and scraper, transfer tape, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free over on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in this free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. So once you're on my site, go ahead and click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. Once you're in the library, you can search for the file Peace and Joy with Border. It will either be listed under the most recent projects and cut files or under the category Craftmas 2020 Day 17. You can also use your browser search to find it. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on it and it will be downloaded onto your computer. Now, when you download these files online, they usually come in a zipped folder and they need to be extracted or unzipped before you can use them in Cricut Design Space. To do this, you're gonna to want to go to the location where your downloaded files are saved on your computer. Then find that zipped folder that we just downloaded and double click on it. A window will open and somewhere you should see the option to extract all. Go ahead and click on that and another window will open up. And this will show you the destination where the unzipped files will be saved onto your computer. You'll need to remember this location because you'll have to get to it once you're in Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and click on Extract, and those files will be unzipped, and now they're ready to use in Design Space. So now let's head over to Design Space and start a new project. Once you're on the Canvas screen, go ahead and click on the Upload button on the left, then click on Upload Image, and then click on Browse. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to the location where those unzipped files were saved. Once you find the folder, double click on it. And inside that folder, you'll see several different file types. And we are gonna be using the SVG. And sometimes the SVG files will show up on your computer as a Chrome HTML document or something like that. So if you don't see SVG file in this list, be sure to look for that. So go ahead and select the file and then click open. Make sure it's the file that you want to work with and then click save. Select the design one more time and choose insert images. And now the design will appear on your canvas screen. So the first thing that we're going to do is resize this so it fits on our project. And I'm going to do that by changing the width to six inches. Now the cork trivet I'm using is seven inches, so that just makes it about an inch smaller. Okay, now that it's sized correctly, we need to turn the design into a stencil, and we will do that by drawing a circle around it. So we'll click on circle, and now I'm going to change the size of this circle so it's the same size as the trivet. So I'll change the width to seven inches. And then I'm going to select the design and choose Arrange and then click Send to Front. And that will just bring the design in front of that circle. 
Now we are going to select both the design and the circle and click on Align and Center. And now our design is perfectly centered within that circle. So the last thing that we need to do is right click and choose Attach. And that will just lock our design into the circle and now we are ready to cut it out. So go up and click on the green Make It button. And this screen will just show what our design is going to look like on our cutting mat. If everything looks good, go ahead and click on Continue. Once Design Space finds your machine, you'll be taken to this screen. Be sure that your dial is set to vinyl and then you can go load up your mat. Place a piece of vinyl on your cutting mat and smooth it out so there aren't any wrinkles or bubbles. Then load it into your machine by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your machine is ready to cut, the C button will light up. Press this and the Cricut will begin cutting. Once everything is finished cutting, press the up and down arrow button again to remove the cutting mat. Now remove your piece of vinyl from your cutting mat and trim off any uncut area. Then weed away the excess vinyl. Since this is a stencil, we'll be pulling out the letters and the design from inside of the circle. Now cut a piece of transfer tape a little bit larger than your design and place it over the vinyl. Rub over the top of the design with a scraper and then trim off the excess transfer tape and vinyl backing. Now flip the design over and pull off the vinyl backing. Grab the cork trivet and center your design on top of it. The shape of the stencil should match up with your cork trivet. Now rub over the design again with your scraper to help it stick. And then pull off the transfer tape. You'll probably need to use your fingers to keep the vinyl on the trivet. Next, you're going to trace over the stencil with a pen or a marker. It really doesn't matter, you just need something that won't smear. You only need to trace around the outline of the stencil. Don't worry about filling in the letters. Once you're done tracing, you can remove the vinyl stencil. Now it's time to burn the trivet. If you've never used a wood burning tool before, don't worry. It's actually pretty easy to do, but you might want to try it on a scrap piece of wood until you get the hang of it. As you go along, you'll probably figure out what is most comfortable for you. I found the easiest was to burn around the outline and then go back and fill in the letter. You'll want to go slow and allow the tool time to burn the cork. This step will take a while and the tool can get hot in your hand. If you need to take a break, be sure to use the tool rest. Take your time and enjoy this step. I found it was actually fun and relaxing to watch the design appear before my eyes. Once you're finished, make sure you unplug your tool. And that's all you need to do to make this cute burned cork trivet. Thanks so much for joining me on another day of Craftmas. If you like this project and want to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe so you'll get notified each time I post something new. See ya!